thanks for stopping down to Pete's Garage. Now I know what you're thinking. Really, a video dedicated to installing an oil pump, just put it in and put the bolt in, you're all done. That's not exactly true. There's a couple things you should watch out when you're putting in an oil pump, especially one that has two dowel pins to locate it with a, a, a dry shaft, and then we have to put in the pickup tube that goes into the oil pan. We have to set that depth because that is really critical. So we're going to install the pump and set the depth for our pickup. Now a couple things before you put the oil pump on. First, the hole in the center. Depending on the year the engine was made or the, the block was made, this hole, and if I look down in there with a flashlight, I can see the bottom of the hole. Which means it'll, if I put a screw in there, it's going to bottom out inside the hole. Sometimes these threads go all the way through to the bearing. And what will end up happening is if your bolt is too long, you'll end up crushing the bearing onto the crankshaft. So I don't have to worry about that because I can see the bottom of the hole. Next thing is this cavity in here where it sucks up the oil and pushes it through the bearing here. The oil gets sucked up through the pump and pushed through a hole. This is what goes through the bearing. The depth of this cavity can be different. So based on the year of your, of your engine, actually the rear cap here, this, the depth of this can change. Now here's the important thing about installing these, these uh, oil pumps. The oil pump, simply these two holes here, mount on these two uh, pins in here. And what you have to do is, you have to put your oil pump in place and see if it fits. It should just drop straight down. Now you see this is not dropping straight down for me because those pins can get bent and people mishandle the block or the bearing cap or whatever. What you don't want to do is you don't want to just hit it with a hammer and just drive this thing down because you can crack one of these ears off of that pump real quick. So I'll, I'll show you if I take this and I just put one of these on, on one hole. See how nice and easy that slides down? It's got a slide easy down like that on, on both of them. So since it's not, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pair of calipers and I'm going to measure the widest spot here. And the widest spot of this bearing is around, uh, it's like 965, 65 there. And if I take my pump, if I measure the biggest part of my in between the holes, it's like uh, close to 56. So it's almost like 10 thousandths off. That means these pins are too far apart, which means I have to push them together. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to want to push these together. And this one, this pin on this side has a little bit of room in there. So I just have a drift, and I'm just going to knock this pin a little bit. And I'll remeasure. And we're going for about okay. I only moved that a couple thousandths of an inch. Go a couple more. Let's see how that works. Oh, so that moved, that moved just enough. That might be just perfect. So if I take my oil pump and sit it on here, maybe it'll fall right down and sit nice and even. No, and that doesn't happen because I probably put a flat on there. So I'm going to file that flat and then we'll see how we fit. Alright, I clean it up just a little bit there. And now it should be right on. Now whenever you do that, you want to make sure you cover up this hole. You don't want to have any shavings go inside your cavity where the oil pump is going to be, obviously. Now this should fit on here. Should drop straight down. Perfect. Just like that. Now the pump is sitting flat and there's no stress on any of those dowel holes. Now what I have to do is I have to measure the depth of my bolt. So I'm going to take my, my caliper and use it as a depth gauge. And I can see that I need a bolt that's at least two and a quarter, which is perfect. Uh, two and a quarter long is the bolt I need for this size right here. So I have a two and a quarter bolt that will fit in there just like that. Now I'm not going to put that in there right now because I have to do... other thing I have to do is I'm just going to pop this back off. I have the new 
drive rod for the oil pump. And instead of the old type of a drive rod, this has a cover on here that's pinned so that when you put this on the oil pump, it doesn't rock back and forth and wear out your, your pump. So this has got a, uh, a tab on the inside that lines up with the oil pump and that makes a nice solid connection right there. So, I'm going to put this on here like that and this whole assembly goes together just like this. Now, if it's nice, that's nice, if it's nice. Now before I put that in there, I want to put just a little bit of gasket sealer on there and I'll put my bolt on and torque it to spec. First you have to get the pickup tube into the oil pump just like this. And there is a very special tool required to put this thing in. Of course there are a million ways to put this thing on here. And be careful how you do it. You don't want to dent the tube. You can use a, a drift and you can push this thing on there as far as you can. The reason I'm leaving this loose is we had to set the depth. And then after I set the depth, I'm going to take this back off and I'm going to put a, a drop of weld on there. I'm just going to weld this so this doesn't move. Okay? So when you put this on, be careful. If you're just going to take a mallet and beat it on, be careful. Because if you don't, if you beat it on crooked, you're going to have to beat it, beat it off. <laughs> beat it off. Yeah, you might have to beat it back off. So, um... Be careful when you put this on. Now let's set the depth of the uh, pickup here. All right, this is the original oil pan from a 76 Corvette. And what I want to show you is, if you look at the bottom of the sump here, you can see where the pickup for the oil pump was loose and it came down and was riding on the bottom of the oil pan and left a mark there because it wasn't welded. That's why you weld that thing in place. So what I'm gonna do is pretty simple. I have this up in the air just a little bit. I have my gasket in place so I know where this is gonna end up. I'm just going to gently put my oil pan on here and let it hit the bottom and go just like that. Carefully lift it off right there. And this sump likes to be about a quarter inch off the bottom of the pan, so I'm going to take this and rotate really this about a quarter of an inch just like that. Now I'm going to put a little bit of weld on there just to hold it in place. That's all you need is a little spot weld just like that to hold it in place. Now we can be sure that's not going to move for the rest of the time this engine is together. My bolt with a little bit of the ARP Ultra Torque fastener on it. And 65 foot-pounds for that will be good. All finished. So you see, simple oil pump, not so simple installation. Now if you're following along with this video series, please click on subscribe. And if you click on the little bell next to subscribe, you'll get a notification every time I upload a video. And thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.